The third parak is one dav. Now, what's unique about the third parak, and we're going to see a lot of this as we go on, it's all Mishnayis. The third parak is all Mishnayis. It's nine Mishnayis. The fourth parak that we're going to see is going to be half Mishnayis, half Gemara. And from that point onward, it's all Mishnayis. I've never seen that so, before. Yeah, yeah, so it's all Mishnayis. That's what's unique. That's what's unique over here. So uh, we'll get there. Next Thursday night, June 27th, Big Siam, 9 o'clock at my house. Um, all other details, depending on who the performer is, we'll have to decide if it could go on the Bima. But, uh, well, uh, you, you miss Shalash Yadis. You miss Shalash Yadis. <laughs> yeah, you got it. It's it. You don't need a... I, I'm not going to recording. I'm recording. I forgot we're recording. Okay, let's go. Omar! <laughs> it's not a Shalash Yadis at the time we're doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> It's okay. There's enough around. There's no cup. Let's go. 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 I have. Yeah, I have this parak broken up into eight points. So let's see if we can get them. Omar lohem hamimoyno. Now, at this point, at this point, a lot of the words should be very familiar. A lot of the concepts should be very familiar. So let's see if we can get it. Yeah, 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 you're okay. You can use it. You, you don't have, your, oh, yours is home? I never took it home. Oh, see, so yeah, for sure. We, I have extras in that. Givaldic, beautiful. The Mamayna. Who's the Mamayna? The Mamayna is the Kayin appointed on all the different stuff in the base of Migdash. And let's do a lottery. What are the lotteries for? Number one, mi ha shoichet. Who is going to shecht? What are we shechting? The first carbon, carbon of the day, which is very good. Carbon tamid, as the name of the Mesechta tells. Mi ha shoichet, number one. Mi ha zoirek, who does zuriko, which in English means throwing the blood. Mi midashen mizbeach hapanimi. Who is going to clear out the dishon, taking off the ashes of the inner mizbeach? Mi midashen, who's going to clean out the minaira, esa minaira. Mi ma'ale, who's going to bring up a varim, the limbs, lekeves to the ramp. Now, what are we bringing the limbs up to the ramp? That's when we start the carbon anew. You're thinking like I was thinking that we're used to the, the limbs coming off. That's when we clean it off the previous days. Now we have a new carbon. So we shecht it. We're going to throw the blood, and then we're going to take all the limbs, and we're going to have to bring them up onto the ramp. Me, ma'alei varim lekeves, haroish, the head, the haregel. Now, now this is actually four separate lotteries, actually. Four separate shechita. No, I mean up for the end, like me, me, yeah, yeah. varim lekeves. Good. Oh, no, no, good, good, period. Now, who brings up the limbs? How many different winners are there of the fourth lottery? Very good. We're about to see nine different parts of bringing up the limbs. So if you're keeping track, and actually I broke it down over here. I remember we did this nicely. I'm looking right now. We have four raffles. We have the shechita. We have the clearing off the menaira, the clearing off the inner mezbeach, and bringing up the limbs. Now bringing up the limbs, we're now going to subcategorize into the head and the legs and all the different parts of the animal as you can see so it's like a over here. Yes, yes, you're going to see it's all going to be different parts. You know, like, look at all the pictures when you're feeling a little queasy and uh, you can see all the different wonderful parts of the animal and what's going on and this one's even better and over here we even have color ones if we need. But let's get there. What are all the parts of the animal? Number one, haraish. The haregel shall yamin, the head and the right leg. Ushte yodayim and the two hands. Hands and legs are front and back. Ha'iketz, that is the tail. The haregel shall small and the left leg. Ha'chaza, the chest, the hagira and the neck. Ushte defanois, the two flanks, those are the two chest parts. Hakarbayim, the intestines, the hasoyles, and the flower. Flower. That's a separate item. That's not from inside the animal. There's no flower inside the item, in the animal. Flower. Vachavitin, which is the carbon of chavitin. Ve hayayin, and the wine. 
That is nine koyhanim are going to be carrying in procession. The head and the legs. Shade the fanics are two. A dolphin is like a wall. It's a plank. Two planks of the animal. You have to really look over here. Yeah, so, so again, we don't understand animals, nor do I. But if you look over here, you'll see that they're different literal intricate parts. We're going to get very, don't worry, all the meat lovers, we're going to be dissecting animals in a few moments. Okay, that's the, where is it? The funnest. You look at the next page, you get even a better picture. The next page. Shtei the funnest. Kavayim v'sol zachav yitzayit. Heifisu zacha mi shezach. So, lottery. Okay, what do we do after the lottery? Well, before we start, we got to make sure it's daytime. Oh, Marlan. The Mamayna says then, Tzu, go out. Uru and see me man shchita. Till the time for the shchita comes. Imigia. If the time has come, Imigia. Haroya, the one that sees. Roya means to see. So, Haroya, the one that sees. Aymer, what does he say? Barakai. That's code. The word means dawn. He gets up. Barkai. What does that mean? It means it's time to do the shechita. Masya ben Shmuel Oimer. No, he would say something different. What would he say? He would say, Hey, you're a Pnei Kola Mizrach. The, the entire eastern face has lit up. Ad she'u bechevroin until chevroin. V'hu Oimer. And they would say, Hey, yes. So Shmuel, um, excuse me, Masya ben Shmuel says they would ask, did the entire eastern sky light up? He would say yes. Then they would do the shechita. So step number one was the lottery. Step number two was ensuring that there is. Can I trouble you to get a stick of liquid? You know, anything, anything, anything. Whatever is there is fine. Mamish, anything. Let's not waste time. Isn't there? Didn't something that come after the dawn? Oh, very good. So that was no, no. Very good question. Let's go all the way back to the first Mishnah, and we'll see the question that you're asking. You're asking that over there it said, Pa'amim shuba mikros hagever, from when the rooster crowed. Roosters crow much before the sun lights up. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's, it's decent here. It's okay. It's okay. Let's not get up. We don't have, we don't have enough bodies to, 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 God bless you. Okay, step number two. Step number three. Amar lohen. So again, who's talking? If you want to remember this part, who's the one talking? The Mimayna. Who's the Mimayna? The one appointed on all the different comings and goings and raffles and whatnot in the base of Migdash. So Amr Lahan, he says to them, to go out, vihiviu, either leave or tiu, let's leave out the bracket, it's easier. Vihiviu and bring what? Tla. Let's get the sheep. Lamb in English, Erev Tov, Rabbi Kogish Jr. Bring the lamb. From where? Obviously, the room of the lambs. Very good. The room with the lambs. Now, parenthetically, the Mishnah points out, the Lishas Atulayim was Nisuna placed in the northwestern corner, northwestern corner of what? Of the Beis Michael. Up here, the north, north, western, sorry, I'm blocking everyone. Here, this corner, this is the Lishka Satsalayim. If you see in one of the pictures here, it labels them a little bit better. But in the Beis Michael, there were four rooms. So it says the Mishnah, room number one is the Lishka Satsalayim that was in the northwestern corner. Arba Lishka Zayusham says the Mishnah, there were four Lishka, four rooms. Achas, lishka satulayim, number one. Achas, lishka sachisamis. Chaisim is a seal. Over here it means a receipt. That after you would get an animal, you would get a receipt. Vachas, lishka spisa moikad. Next is the room of the beisa moikad, whatever that is. Vachas, lishka rachaisim ba lechem hapanim. The next is the room that they made the lechem hapanim. First of all, parenthetically, you see, they had a whole room for receipts. You know, again, uh, mom and hectish, the critical care that is necessary. But I think, let's just see, I thought we have a better picture over here of the four rooms. Um, I mean, it's wild to think that there was a room. Just four receipts. Very good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there were animals everywhere. There was blood. 
They were bad. Um, yeah. Well, I'm saying is like, no, you're right. You're right. In the basement, Correct. Tuma, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, that, like, it's so strict on who gets to be in the basement. Make the, yeah, yeah. The basement, make the, but animals, animals. Are, like dirty. You got to believe it. No. Carbonice. Carbonice are where it's at. Okay, I, I don't have the. Basically, in, in the beast, I'm like, God, there were four rooms. Here's one picture, but it doesn't really show much. It just looks like a zoo. There's a room with a bunch of sheep. It's not, you know, not such a glorious picture. It just looks cool. Like a nice room, right? Yeah, they made it nice. I don't know if it was so nice. Yeah, these four boxes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Avada, 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 avada. Okay. One of those corners. Top right. This is the, this is the top. I, I feel bad. I'm blocking you. This one over here. This one is the one where the sheep were. And then these were the other three rooms. Okay. Next continues the Mishnah. Nechnesu, listen to this one. Lelishkas ha-kelim. There was a room. The room was called the room of Kalim. What's that called in English? The room of Kalim. And what was in the room of Kalim? Kalim. Very good. If someone, if someone was going to say animals, we were going to officially be the first person ever to be thrown at a shear. Was the room of Kalim? What did they take out of the room of Kalim? Kalim. Ha-yitziyam How many Kalim? That you don't have to know. Tishim u-shleisha. 93 clay kesef, u clay zav, golden and silver kalim. This is the room of kalim. Basically, it's just a room with just kalim, as the room itself sounds like. And when the day began, like, you know, this is the chayr where men get it from. You have to, like, empty everything out on the floor before you start. You know, you see the guys that come to Shachris, and, you know, they open their bag, the towels, the tefillin, and the phone. The, the, the pushka, the terrorists, like they have to take over like a whole table. Like, what are you doing? It's chakras, you're not moving in. You know, your underwear is coming out. Like, what, what are you doing? But this is where it comes from. You take everything out for the whole day. This is like, what do you do next? This is what we should know. Hishku es atomi, they give the carbon tummy to drink. The little chef slaw needs a drink. Why does he need a drink? Does everyone remember? We spoke about this quickly. Makes the meat better. Very good. Oh, make something better. Good. Not the meat. Skinning the skinning easier. Very good. Very good. What do they give the drink from? Bekai's shel zav. If you remember, this was one of the potential, very good, one of the potential examples of a guzma, of an exaggeration, of a chlaikis, rava or not. Afal pi shu mevukar. What does the word baiker mean? It means morning. It also means bikur choylim. It means to check. Bikur. Afal pi shu mevukar miva erev. Even though it was checked the night before. Mevakrin, I saw they check it again. La'ar avukais, to the light of torches in the morning. Here you see wonderful pictures of sheep, Gvaldic, little Betsy. What they did? No, because. Uh, yeah, because you would think. The sentence would end we would do it by sunrise. Oh! Oh, so it's so very good. So, no, so the, exactly what the mission is showing you. The first, number one chiddush is, even though it was checked in, I got to check it again. Yeah. Number two is, what time of day is it? It's dark outside. It's just getting light. So they had to check it again, but you don't want to wait, because we got to get this carbon tummy shechted. So they went, aravukais, they did it again, which you're right. I actually never really fully computed what you just said, but I like what you just said a lot. It, it's really a chiddush of chiddush. Number one, you're checking it again, and number two is, it's not really a better checking than the night before, but okay, before you bring the carbon, you got to check it again. Maybe a better checking, but it needs to include the, something happening to the animal. In the Very good. Maybe it's just the fact that time elapsed. Very good. You checked that before. You have to check it again. Okay. So, so far, we have five Mishnayis, which we, by the way, I, I, my riv is going to have to be five minutes later. Like eight. Right, 8.30, I'm sure, whatever. Usually it's been 8.30. That's why I decided not to announce it, because keep it at 8.25, and yeah. we'll start at 8.30 like we always do. <laughs> If you announce it at 8.30, then Armenian will just dissipate entirely. But Dovid, at 8.20, it's already right that we have. Uh... Yeah, it does. It's a Dovid. As long as Dovid is here, I know I'm going to have a Mayra Mitzvah. So, so far, what do we have in this barrack? We had five, um, five Mishnai. Anyone else realize that? It's good day. Aleph, Bez, Gimel, Dalid. What in the world happened? Oh, Kanye is Mishnah, hey. Psh, supposed to be a hey here. Now, where does the Vav go? Oh my god, this is this is wild. Wild. On purpose do they take away a hay? I, I, don't, right before Shabbos. I don't know. Yeah, down here is a hay. Fascinating. So you gotta swap those up. Either way, okay. 
for all the observant people amongst us. But we had five, or actually four Mishnahis so far. Number one, we had raffles. Number two is they checked that it's morning. Number three is they went to get the sheep. We spoke with the four rooms and what they had in the base of my God. Number four is they brought out all the kalim and they checked the carbon tamid. What's next? Misha Zacha. The one that was Zaycha. The one that won the raffle. What was the raffle? Let's go back. We had four raffles. The first raffle was Mia Shoycheit Mia Zayrik. Then was Mi Midashein, who cleans out the Mizbeach, and who cleans out the Minaira. Says the Mishnah, Misha Zacha, the one that was Zaycha Bedish and Mizbeach Abinimi, to clean out the inner Mizbeach, Ubedish and Aminaira, and to clean out the Minaira. Hayu Makdimin. They would come early, they would come in. Vidalid Kalim Biyadam. They would be holding four Kalim. What are the four Kalim that they would hold? Hatani, the Tani, we'll say what that is in a moment. The Hakoz and the Koz, Ushnei Mavtechais, and two keys. What are these items? Explains the Mishnah. Hatani is Daime Litarkev. It's like a basket, Shalzav of gold. Mechuza Machzik, it holds. What does it hold? I just skipped, excuse me. Machzik kabayim v'chetzi. Two and a half kav. Now, we, we don't know what these words mean, but this is a good example. Keep on reading sometimes and we'll get it. So, so far we know the tani was golden and held this quantity. The cause is doim elikitoin gadol shalzav, a large pitcher. Now, which was larger? Which was larger? So it's actually a little bit hard. I thought the Mishnah. Thing that says large. Larger. Right. So that's what we would assume. And obviously, therefore, the answer is the other way. Very good. The tenny was a, a basket, a large pitcher. No, no, no. I'll tell you. You, know, you were right. A, a large. Something large. If you have to compute a large pitcher versus a basket, which is bigger. So the basket is bigger. But now I have to tell you how big the pitcher is. So it's a large pitcher. There is a picture over here that I would love to pick out. You mentioned Shem next to our very small menorah that we have. We'll have a tenny and a kuz. So it'll be a huge picture. There you right? go. There you go. Oh, here it is. Here's the tenny and here's the kuz. The tenny is a, a basket and the kuz is more of, oh, here you go. It's more of a cup. Yeah, cup type item. Oh. Okay, and we're going to see this. I'm going to clean out the ashes. And the two keys. Why do you need two keys for opening the doors? Echad Shehu, finish up the shear. Sorry about that interruption. Echad Shu Yoyreid Ba'amas Shachi. This is very interesting. We have two keys. One key goes down in the Amas Shachi, means the armpit. Vechad Shu Paiseach Kivon, and one open straight. Well, what in the world does that mean? So, this is going to be a fascinating thing that. You're going to have a regular key. Now you're going to have a little hole. You're going to have to stick your hand in and from the back open the key. So that's called an armpit key because you're going to put your arm in the hole and open the key from the inside. And then you're going to have another key that goes straight. We'll stop here. Um, oh, let's, I don't know. Let's, sorry. Oh, so we're going to see there's a doorway. They, they got to get into. We, they haven't walked into the base of Igdash yet. So you're going to have to get in. So we're going to have a, it's a very special doorway. I'm sorry, everyone in Zoom. Thank you for bearing with me. The doorway is going to have a very unique lock. And the way they have this unique lock is you have a, a, a box on the top with a key on the bottom. The key on the bottom opens straight. And the box on the top, you're going to stick your hand in, around, open it up, and then the front, open it up, and that's where you're going to get in. And if Siat Shemaya, we'll pick it up from Mishnah Zayin, Emir Hashem.